everybody. How you doing? This is Alec Hyde coming to you. Today we are over here at uh, Seabridge Park and um, we're going to be launching again. It's about 7 o'clock or so. Um, I'm here today with uh, JP Lee and uh, we're looking forward to it being a great day. It's an outgoing tide so um, we are going to go ahead into the harbor uh, fish around the activity is going to be um, if you're looking at now tide, which is another app that I was using I'm gonna put together a, a whole video about the different equipment and apps and everything things I, I used But now tide is the app that I'm using it shows um, Two fish activity two out of three so it seems to be pretty good from about 740 to about nine o'clock or so looking forward to it um, but something I wanted to show everybody really quick before I I launch is my little tackle box let me show everybody this thing. See this right here? This is a $9 tackle bag that I got over at Walmart. And it's got like a little flap and everything here too so you can keep everything secure. But when I put it on my, my phone tube, I open the flap and it fits like just barely into that pocket. And in here I've got all my different types of um, baits. I've got my leader line inside of one of the side pockets. Um, the other one is actually empty. In here I actually carry a little pair of scissors. Like no different than just like a little educational pair of scissors. And it makes it easy to carry. And I can stick it right inside of here. And the cover just barely, just barely uh, fits over that. So it takes a little bit of finesse sometimes, but for the most part, once it's uh, on the water and you're like right there next to you, it's easy to pull clothes. But that keeps everything really nice and secure and organized. So that's a huge help. Anyways, we'll get back to you as soon as they're on the water. Take care. All right, everybody. So now we just launched off of the uh, the beach here, and today I've got a I don't know if you want to call it a challenge or what, but um, today I am using only Z-Man. I know I came out here last week. I said I'm gonna use Z-Man, but I stopped using it after I don't know probably 10, 15 casts, and I started switching over to my other stuff. This time I'm not gonna do it. I'm actually gonna stick to Z-Man all day. If I get skunked, I get skunked, and that's it. I don't really care. I'm gonna try to use Z-Man because I want to learn how to use it better. And um, I'll never get um, good at it if I keep giving up on it too early, right? So this is what I'll be using. So today we're going to try using um, hula sticks in the deal color. The deal color is kind of like a, a grayish with a purple and silver flake with a silver undertone. We're going to be using that on a Ned rig. And then we're going to be using um, the, not the turbo cross, these boar hogs. We're going to be using boar hogs on a swing jig. So we're gonna give those a try. We're gonna see how it works out. And with any luck, I'll be reporting back about how great Z-Man products are and how I can catch fish with it. It's kind of a dreary day. It's gonna be about 70 degrees, but I'm here finally with no waders on, which I'm really excited about. Uh, final uh, call out, thank you or shout out. Thank you to all the people who have stopped me uh, in the harbors and the bays. Today I watch your videos. I really appreciate it. I have no idea who's watching these things. Um, I know I'm climbing to, what, 200 subscribers or something. But I really appreciate all the um, different people who are checking me out and seeing what I'm doing. And, I don't know, criticizing or, or, or appreciating kind of the things I'm, I'm doing here. I'm new at this also. So, please, uh, <laughs> just if you have any suggestions or anything, just go ahead and drop it in the comments. And I'll, I'll get to it. I answer those things pretty frequently. So, anyways, take care. We'll talk to you soon. The thing that I know I've talked about before is um, on my spinning reel here. I used 8-braid. Uh, I stuck 8-braid on this thing, and uh, while it is nice and smooth for casting, it does seem to get out there nicely, I get a lot, of li a lot more line twists. I won't be doing it again. I'm pretty tired of it, actually. I get more line twists and more rat's nest on the spinning reel than I do on my bait caster, and I suck at using a bait caster, so I don't know. I probably would refrain from using 8-braid. Um, the benefits just don't outweigh the, the negative parts of it, so my opinion. There we go, we just changed up our bait and pulled onto something here. Yeah, the one I just put on there. There we go. There we go. Not a bad size, right? Tiny guy. It's about... Uh... Ouch. It's 11 inch, 11 inch guy right there. Sometimes they have a nice cool green set of eyes, but this guy's got orange. Right behind you, sir. Not bad. And that was caught on, I didn't, 
uh, run away from my challenge there. I just actually load this on here. It's actually the Nedreg fifth of an ounce using a um, craw. Go. So one of the things I talked about after I got back from the um, the Fred Hall show was to always pay attention and listen to the instructors, right? So don't try to make things up on your own. So I swear I've done so much research and watching YouTube videos and everything and I promised myself that I'm going to listen to everything that these guys have to say. So I'm totally casting the exact same amount of time as I was told to do. I'm running it just exactly how I, uh, how I saw them doing it on the videos, which is kind of a slow retrieve. Set it out, half reel, full reel, even two reels in the same area, kind of fan out and to see where I can find these fish if they're around. There are a couple other experts online that say, you know, hey, make sure when you're using kind of a Ned rig to go and shake the tip and keep your rod tip up. So I am kind of mixing it in there every once in a while too. But um, I'm also trying to make sure that I'm listening to what I've been told and all the research I've been doing, actually listening to it rather than making my own stuff up. I got something small on here. Sorry. It's probably a little sandy. <laughs> I ain't gotta catch my gratuitous sand bass, my gratuitous baby sand bass for uh, the voice actor fisherman. This is dedicated to you, Logan. This is you. My little dinker. It's so small. I can't even get my... baby Sandy and I still caught that on my Z-Man craw this one was the the deal it's called the deal the deal something's on here no spotty Man, you hit that thing hard. No. Oh. Look at that. Oh, he just pooped all over the place. <laughs> My little Z-Man. There we go, guys. Another one on the Z-Man, the deal, craw. Picked up another small spotty. That thing just pooped all over my tray. Measure it up. 10 inches. 10 inch little guy. Wow, he hit that thing and whack! <laughs> My reel just hit, he hit that thing strong. He wanted it bad. Another one on the Z-Man. You can mark this down to something you don't see every day. There's a, a, a procession. A couple of uh, sheriff boats and led by like, I don't know, there's probably like 20 boats behind it. Over here. And he's popping his horn. Hopefully you can see that there. He's uh, got this long spray of uh, water coming out the front, and the back of him is just like this long procession of boats, and they're just kind of cruising on the harbor. So we're getting as close as we can to the slips because there's a lot of boats coming our way right now. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, all right, everybody. <laughs> so JP Lee over here caught a giant fish on the other side. We don't know what it was, but his. His pole was constantly bent over, and he's still kicking himself because the thing broke off. Oh, it sucks. Well, today is a uh, today's a little adventure. It was really slow fishing today. We did a lot of work, but um, I stuck to my main uh, rod using Z-Man stuff. Uh, this is what I ended up with: is the deal in a craw. I did also use um, uh, I used two different craws. I used green pumpkin TRD I used the deal in a hula skirt um, so I went through quite a few different um, Z-Man products along with using uh, their mushroom shrooms and uh, I noticed right away I think I chewed up pretty good this is my first this is brand new out of the package and one use and it's pretty messed up right there this is a one-fifth ounce I think you need a fifth ounce in order to fight the tides and get where you want to go 
um, especially when you're using like heavier uh, fluorocarbon like I'm using the 12 pound uh, line in the end everything uh, worked out well so three total fish today two spotties one sand bass of course my little tiny sand bass dedicating that to the voice actor fisherman um, and the spotties were always fun as always as they always are um, glad to be getting out on the water without my waders which feels so nice it feels so good to be part of the like in the water and everything again and the water temperature is easily 63 65 degrees um, I was tracking at 68 but I don't know if I, I, I trust that or not but um, feels really nice so that's it for now take care all from Huntington Harbor we'll talk to you later thanks